Rahim, dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. With another episode today, asking ourselves honest and sincere questions. Today, I want to ask myself why we do not act upon what we say. And this question is not a question coming from me, but this is a question coming from Allah, our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, where Allah azza wa jalla says, Lima taquluna ma la taf'alun. Why do you say what you do not act upon? كَبُرَ مَقْتًا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَنْ تَقُولُ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ It is, it is a severe, it is a major sin to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you say what you do not act upon. This is not the quality of a believer. The believer, my brothers and sisters, acts upon what they say. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to do something, and then we believe in what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had commanded us, we believe in what Allah had decreed upon us, and then we say it, we must act upon it. We must act upon what we believe in. We must act upon the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah had ordered us in. We must act upon the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He had commanded us. This is the quality of a believer. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he used to address the companions over a matter or over a new revelation or over a new commandment, before the Sahaba walk out of the mosque, the commandment of Allah is already in their life. The commandment of Allah is already been practiced in their life, including the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When his wife Aisha was asked about the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam and about his manners, she said, كَانَ خُلُقُهُ الْقُرْآنِ كَانَ قُرْآنًا يَمْشِي عَلَى الْأَرْضِ The Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam's manners was the Qur'an. He was a walking Qur'an. The Prophet was a walking Qur'an. And how could that be possible? Yes, he was, he was sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a walking Qur'an by the actions, by his actions, by the orders of Allah Azza wa Jal and the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being implemented in his life. He was a walking Qur'an that everything that was in the Qur'an was in the life of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. And that's what we all need to be. We need to be walking Qur'ans. We need to be walking Qur'an. We need to be that walking Qur'an that walks on the surface of this earth by the way we speak and by the way we behave and by the way we act. This is what a walking Qur'an is. We need to act upon what we say. We need to act upon what we believe in. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he speaks about a man in the hereafter, in which Allah will cast him in the hell, hell fire. And people in the hell fire will be amazed to see that man that used to call him for the good and prevent him from the bad is in the hell fire. So they'll say to him, aren't you that man? Aren't you that person that used to call us for the good and prevent us from the bad? He'll say, yes. He said he will say yes kuntu amurukum bil ma'ruf wa la ati wa anhaakum 'anil munkar wa ati yes i was from those who used to call you for the good but i never used to act upon that good and i used to call you to prevent you from the bad and i used to do that bad allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says again lima taquluna ma la taf'alun why do you say what you do not act upon why do we say what we do not act upon we know so much we know so much and we understand a lot but we lack in our actions we need to have actions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, He does not look at your figures. Allah does not look at your bodies. Allah looks at your heart and your actions. Allah wants to see actions because the actions are the interpretation of sincerity, are the interpretation of the love of Allah, are the interpretation of the fear of Allah. The Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum said, they would never ever pass or go past 10 verses after they memorize them until they act upon those 10 verses. Look at their quality, radiallahu ta'ala anhum. They would not memorize 10 verses or move on to the following 10 verses until they had those 10 verses in their lives. So they said, فَتَعَلَّمْنَا الْقُرْآنَ وَزِدْنَا بِهِ إِيمَانًا We learned the Qur'an and we increased our iman. We increased our iman. Why? Because they acted upon what's in the Qur'an. Whom did Allah Azza wa Jalla describe those who know and do not act upon what they know? The munafiqeen wal billah. 
the hypocrites, they knew the orders of Allah, they knew the commandments of Allah, but they never acted upon the orders of Allah, nor they ever acted on the commandments of Allah. We don't want to go that way. We don't want to be in the, on that path. We want to be part of the path of the believers. Those believers who act upon what they say. Those believers who have Islam in their life as a practice. Those believers who have Islam in their life as an action. This is the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us. This is the path of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, we need to be all a walk in Quran by the way we act, by the way we behave, by the way we deal with others, by the way we speak, by the way we look at things, by the way we deal with matters. This is the way of the mu'min. This is the way of the believer. This is the way of those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So once again, why do we say what we do not act upon? It is a major sin, a huge sin, a major sin, a great sin that we do. And we do actions that are contrary to what we say. Or we say, and our actions are contrary to what we say. Yes, my brothers and sisters, let us have Islam into our life as a practice. Let us have Islam into our life as an action. Let us have Islam in our lives the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to have it. Let us not say something and our actions are something else. This is the quality of a munafiq. And how could you call to Allah azza wa jal and have, have an effect and influence on others when your actions are the actions of the munafiq or when you behave like the behavior of the munafiq. The mu'min, whatever he says, he acts upon it. And he is an influence, a benefit to others. When people see him, they, act, they, they follow him. When people see her, see her, they follow her, they act, they want to become like them, they want to behave like them, because they are sincere in their actions, they are sincere in what they say. This is the quality of the mu'min, this is the path of the believers, this is the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the path of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah azza wa jalla says, وَقُلْ اعْمَلُوا فَسَيَرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلَكُمْ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ Allah azza wa jalla says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and do, act upon, Implement Allah and His Messenger and the believers are watching. Allah and His Messenger and the believers are watching. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us in the hereafter, over every knowledge we've learned, what did you do with it? What did you do with this knowledge that you've learned? What did you do with this ilm that you've learned? Did you act upon it or did you just carry it? Did you implement what's in that knowledge or you just preached that knowledge without acting upon it? Did you do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked you to do? Or you just asked others to do it and you left yourself free? Did you keep away from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had ordered you to keep away from? Or you just ordered others to do so? So therefore my brother and my sister, Allah says, Why do you say what you do not act upon? It is a major sin to Allah that you say what you do not act upon. Let us act upon the knowledge that we know. Let us act upon the knowledge that we know. Let us have it as a practice in our life, as actions, as a walk in Quran again. This is our aim. Let be your aim in your life and your objective in your life. That I want to be that walk in Quran. I want to be like the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah azza wa accept from us and make us from those who listen and hear. Act upon what they listen and hear. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Oh